Anyways, today, very special episode. Yeah, our daughter and son-in-law are going to go RV hunting. Yes, we yeah. got a lead, or they got a lead, and they we're going with them on Cruise America, selling mm -hmm. their old fleet, and they when they run them so many miles, they sell off the old stuff, right. buy the new, but you figure these, even though they may have fairly high miles... When you the think about it, maintenance has been great. Maintenance has been great, yeah. and it's usually highway miles. So we're going to yeah. go along with them today. And... Yeah, they're looking for a, a class C, a small class C. So yep. So we'll they're be weekend at... warriors. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And so we will be in Mesa right after this. Here we go. I'm disappointed there's not the dog on the window. Poor song toilets. Is this the one we're talking about right here? Yeah. So are they all kind of the, they're all the same majestic model then, right? Correct, yeah. They only carry three models, the 23A or the 28. Uh, which is a 30 footer and then they have a 19 footer and what is this this is the this is the 25 oh, 25 yeah 25 mm -hmm. um, oh there we go we're plugged in get it plug it in 25 footer model 23a okay awesome and uh hold on this is family miles this is very similar now what the 350 is this the Econoline chassis. Oh, very good. 350, but it's got the V10 motor. Nice. 6.8 liter V10. No, we're just, just, just kind of looking at everything right now. So you'll, you'll notice that the colors, the floor plans are all identical. Mm -hmm. So this is the 2018 model. Ford makes the chassis. Yep. So, does that fit your budget? But we go, he'll walk through you everything and show you how everything works before you ever drive out of here. Okay. And um, does this one also come with the extended warranty on all the interior stuff like, um, as well as a... That's an option. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so you have two option. optional warranties. Yeah. yeah. It's not mine, but on this side. Somebody's crawling over something. Yeah, I'll, I'll be crawling. <laughs> you know, I think that... Is that is that a Fuller Queen? No, it's not a Queen. That's, that's a full. An RV Queen, right. It's six and a half feet long. It's wider than the one we had, I think. It looks about the same. It has a little. I don't know. It's it, it's very similar to that jamboree that we had. Yeah. Kind of stores down here in this little. Compartment. Oh, cool. Let's pull that up, and that just slips right in there to long term. Yeah, the storage around around. around. Well, the other cool thing. I'm gonna go look for mom real quick. Oh, oh there you are. It's big. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one they're seriously looking at. Oh, this, you should see the one. The one that I walked into when you disappeared on me. <laughs> yep, we do that. I want to take a look at the outside over here. I love it. You have an outdoor setting indoors. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a sewer hose, pulls, electrical box. See that okay? Battery compartment. And this is the generator, 4,000 watt. That would definitely run the air conditioner. Ooh, water, looking for shore water. Oh, that looks like this right here. Shore water, and you just need to store your hose in here somewhere. There's some nice storage in this. Oh, it comes with a fresh hose, awesome. Got a table. The generator runs off the same gas tank. Yeah. But it shuts off after a quarter of, yeah. 
this is a 2018. This is the same year as, as our fifth wheel. So we saw the 25 foot. That's the one that they're looking into buying and there was one on the showroom floor. They also had that other one, I believe it's a 27 foot it looks like. And I understand there's supposed to be a smaller one. But I remember Amber telling me the one does not have the captain chair behind the seat. But there are three sizes. They buy them in fleet. So they get a huge fleet of these things. I haven't seen one of the really short ones. But let's go back inside and see how things are going. They're getting a great price for this. Pros with Cruise America is every time one of these vehicles goes out, when it comes back, they they go over it, maintenance, and to make sure everything is uh, still working properly, that everything's uh, running smooth. So it's better maintained than what you're gonna find from a private party or what you're gonna find from a dealership, from a trade-in. With a trade-in at a dealership, it's pretty much your, it's a same as a private party, only they might have gone through it a little bit, but they have not gone through it that thorough. Uh, with Cruise America, they have upgraded parts all over the place because they want it to last. So you got a porcelain toilet, you got a stainless steel sink, um, you've got uh, heavy duty latches that work a whole lot better than the plastic ones you would normally get when you buy a new RV because they need to make sure this thing is going to hold up for a lot of uh, use. Now, one of the cons, yeah, they are high mileage. This is like uh, 130,000 miles on this thing. But you are talking about a Ford F-350 Triton V10 engine that probably has a good 400 to 500,000 miles to that engine. So you've only really just used the first quarter of that engine life or a third of the engine life. The con is at high miles, but a pro there is it is really broken in. It's been test road tested. Um, they do offer a couple of warranties, which is also really awesome. They have an additional extended warranty of the powertrain, and they also have an additional extended warranty for all of the stuff inside. So that's really a good thing as well. So I would highly recommend going for those extended warranties. So if an air conditioner does break down, you got a hundred dollar deductible and you got an air conditioner. Same thing with the refrigerator. Those are the items you really don't want to have to replace. So yeah, this is uh, exciting. I think they're going to drive out of here with one of these. Let's go take a look. This is the expected mother's waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. You see these with a dog in the window of the door. It's a decal. It's a decal. It's a decal. All this time I've driven by and I've, <laughs> I knew it wasn't a real dog, but I thought it was a decal on yeah. the window. It's a decal. There's no window. No. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, when I was looking at these that are for sale, there are no windows on those doors. <laughs> no windows on the doors. But yet there's a there's a dog looking out the window. Oh my goodness. Huh. So when they sell these, what happens is all of the decals come off of this. Can I get a dog decal? <laughs> I want a dog. Do they have all a husky this, decal? That, that's what they need. Uh. But yeah, all of the decals come off. They kind of repaint them and they're going to look like what's over there. Yeah, they get the majestic so, back on. So yes, yes, we're going to end this video right here. <laughs> It's been fun um, helping our daughter and son-in-law uh, get a Class C. Yeah, so hopefully they'll be joining us soon on yeah. some of our adventures. Yeah. You get to see them too. 
And yeah, so make sure that you hit that subscription button. And the sun's getting in my eyes. And hit that bell, let you know when we post every Sunday at, at two. two. Thumbs up for good measure. I feel like I'm. You're in there. You're in there. <laughs> We're in there. Okay. And uh, I don't remember the rest. Instagram and Facebook. Oh, that's, you usually say that. No, you say that, and I say www.rwdcamelot.com. And there you go. And I, I made a major step forward. I actually opened the website and looked at it. So <laughs> I'm going to get it ready hey, for it's travel. A start. Anyways, until next time, safe travels. Cilantro. See you on the road.